पब्लिक स्पीकिंग पर्सन वन ओ माई गॉश नॉट फॉर मी प्लीज पर्सन टू नॉट अ बिग डील टेक माई नेम फॉर स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस सो गाइज विच वन इज यू बट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अदर्स वट अबाउट द किड्स If you are talking about the kids for public speaking, it is as easy as difficult. <laughs> you must be thinking, what is it exactly? As easy as difficult. If your parents, some of you actually got my point. It is not all about preparing them. It is also about dealing with their ever-changing moods, isn't it? Friends, you must be seeing the various videos on public speaking. which explains about the theoretical part but today i'm going to tell you practical eight steps for preparing your kid for public speaking that too dealing with their moods or you can say taking advantage of their moods guys about me this is amrita i'm also parent of little naughty kid today as a parent i'm going to share my experience with you and believe me all these are proven steps it really really works so thank you for watching speech for students welcome back to my channel so stay tuned to this video and let's jump into it practical eight steps for preparing your kid for public speaking step number 1 while starting take a simple and short speech Yes if you are going to prepare them for a speech or for story that speech or story should be very simple and short if your kid is of kindergarten start with 5 to 6 lines in a first attempt don't go for lengthy one otherwise it will irritate them if you are in search of such simple and short speeches you can get it ready made and absolutely free on this channel itself You can check the description below for the links. You can also comment me below the topic of this speech you want. So let's go towards next step. Step number 2. Set the targets. This is the most important part in preparing your kid. Yes. Consider the day of delivery of this speech and capacity of your kid. Guys, capacity is also a crucial part. Here First thing to remember is you can't prepare your kid in a short span or in haste. So don't ever try to do that. It really really needs time. So you need to set the daily targets. So allocate the time as per the speech and the capacity of your kid. If the speech taken is of say 12 lines, divide the speech into multiple parts. Part them as per the age of your kid. say if your kid is of kindergarten only take one line for a day it of course depends upon the capacity of your kid so if your kid is taking two days for one line no problem at all let them take it if your kids are of primary section they can prepare two lines a day so like that you can prepare them see i will tell you how to schedule it if your kid is of kindergarten on first day take only one line and let them practice it well whole day on second day practice first line of previous day and second line on third day practice first two lines and third one likewise you will have to take practice step by step for all lines of speech or story isn't it simple step number 3 it should be with fun guys if you are going to prepare your kid in a serious mood or just by standing them up in front of you it will not happen you will have to watch and observe the moods of your kid and then to connect with them there should be some of the time in a day in which you are sitting together or playing together and guys believe me i am telling you this by my experience actually it really really works while playing with them or while chatting with them in fact for my kid i have taken as much practice while driving and chatting with him at the same time you only have to entertain their mood 
and start practicing this page with fun. Step number 4. Instead of text, prefer audio. There are a lot of instruments for practicing and revising with audio. So opt for that. You can also record your kids voice while practicing and make them listen to it. You can also take their video and show them when they are not in a mood to practice. So by watching it, automatically they will remind it again. So for practice, this is a very really nice way. Let us go towards the next step. Step number 5. Motivate them. Guys, appreciate them for every successful practice. It really really helps in boosting their confidence. Motivate them. Love them. These young birds flourish with the encouragement. After they are practicing of a small part, clap for them. They will do the rest with a lot of enthusiasm. Step number 6. Correct them constructively. If they are committing mistake while talking, let them complete it. Don't interrupt. Then correct them in a positive manner. First, Appreciate them for the rest of the part which was correct. Then tell them about the mistake. They will concentrate on it. Step number 7. Practice, practice and practice. Friends, take a lot of practice every day. But remember, this practice should also be with fun. Take care that it should not irritate them. And last but not the least, Step number 8. Encourage them to deliver speech in front of family members. After practice, let them give the speech in front of family members so that before the actual day of delivering the speech, they will be ready for that. Clap for them. Take the video and show them. It will really be the happiest moment for them and for you too. See, if they are happy about public speaking, they will not hesitate at all. And that will be the simplest thing for them. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to press the bell icon after subscribing because then only you will get the updates of my awesome videos. If you like the video, give your thumbs up and share it as possible as you can. It will really be helpful to someone who really needs it. Comment me below and tell me which part of the video you like the most. Bye-bye. I will come with another interesting video next time.